Hello again, Internet. Welcome back. We are the Renegades, and today we're doing a little bit more of uh, Doug Walker's Nostalgia Critic. Uh, the Revenge of the Commercials. We are back to doing these once again, so <laughs> you all can stop telling us to go back to them. But Revenge of the Commercials, this is the third one in Doug Walker's... Uh, what what it, Were there six of them? Sextilogy? Yeah. Sextilogy? Oh, Lord. Heck. Hextilogy. Quintilogy. Is it... Qu yeah, sextilogy or hextilogy. I don't know which one. Any I don't know Micah? either. I'm good with either. Yeah. Okay. So There's six of them. We're on number so, three. Yeah, I mean, we're on number three. We're well, Latin, it would be sextilogy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I was well, thinking. quadrilogy, quintilogy. No, penta is Greek. Yeah, sorry. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway... The, the Nostalgia Critics commercial series, we've loved these so far, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy to be getting back to these. Um, <laughs> I'm wondering what's, what he's going to bring up in the in this one, because there's no shortage of, of commercial, of nostalgic commercials. It's true. Because the, uh, because the, the history of commercials is just, like, immense. I mean, you've got stuff from the 80s, 90s, and the 2000s, and even now, modern day. Mm -hmm. and that he can pull from. So, oh yeah. Oh lord. I can't wait to see what what happens. I what? just thought of something. I might I might have to pull rank and make you all watch after this now that you said commercials. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right. Wait, since when can you pull rank? I don't know. Well, I mean, you can well, pull rank I, on me. No, I know that. No, much. you pull Well, you've pulled rank on me, Ben. I mean, I don't really get to pull rank. I'm just kind of rank. That's just what they say. Oh gosh. I mean, I don't know. I can't smell. All right. So, anyway, we have here the Revenge of the Commercials, uh, mm -hmm. part three of the Nostalgia Critics commercial series. Let's get to it. Yep. Hey, kids, you want to waste some time? You must if you're watching one of my videos. It's time to review some commercials. That's a man that's dead inside. No. Yes, the commercials <laughs> of the 80s and 90s are back, oh, here Lord. to give us that joyfully awkward world of colorfully selling out. I see. Oh, what joy these bring. Even the worst ones can manage to summon a smile to a nostalgic mind. Nice oh, jeez. I love them. I love them. And we're going to look at them grand. again today. So, seeing how one special was called We'll Be Right Back and another one was called After These Messages, this one I'm going to entitle... Explanation Point. After these messages. 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 We'll be right back. It's here, what? the E.T. board game. No Not way. At last. Yeah. Now you can pretend to help E.T. go home. Pretend to they help E.T. E. And yeah. sometimes you can fly. Really? We're including flying in a board game now? You know, moving from square to square doesn't technically count as flying. <laughs> hmm, move two spaces. Woo! Sometimes you can fly. Wow, indeed, easily impressed little boy. Danger. Sometimes you can hide. Oh, oh okay. the one that helps ET the most. That was insensitive. Plans must spell with a K. That's true. <laughs> oh, seriously, God. I can get us a copy of that no to stream. To make a oh, board God. game on ET, the commercial does manage to capture the magic and drawn out boredom of the original. E.T. board game from Parker Brothers. Also sold separately, the E.T. card game. Oh, yeah. I want to see E.T. in a card game. No, he didn't. <laughs> Put him over Some Phil Hellmuth? Really? I'd, I'd imagine him more being like, being like oh. a fossil man. Oh, great. Mm. More this from the world's ugliest pin cushions. Oh, yep. She's having breakfast. Yep, she's getting hungry. Uh-oh, she's crying real soon. Oh shit, you're squeezing her hand, you sadist! She's crying real tears as opposed to fake Whoa, tears. Whoa, okay, I guess her shockwave kiss solved everything. Sonic boom! <laughs> I guess I never got that about girls' toys. Why would you want a baby to cry all the time? I mean, laughing or giggling, okay, that I understand, but crying? That's a royal pain! This is just what I've wanted to do ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> and I guess that's no, just the way of things. Parent. You give birth and raise a little girl so you can immediately prepare her from childhood to start doing the same thing. Hey, if I raised a kid who didn't blink and looked like a deflated potato, I don't think I'd win parent Ouch. of the year. 
Each purchase separates batteries not included. Morning is your time. I love this commercial because you literally have no idea what it's advertising yep. until they just say it. That's In everything you do. All you know is that whatever it is, it gives you a great lust for life. In everything you uh, do. What is it? Great nuts. Oh, great <laughs> nuts, of course! Because when I think of appreciating all the miracles that life has to offer, I think of a cereal that tastes like cardboard and feels like shitting needles. Post great nuts cereal. I mean, wow. You know when you've got it good. It's not yes, great. Clearly, this is a woman who nuts. has it good. She's on vacation in a log cabin yeah. all by herself, yeah. no friends, no family, sipping the I last drop of the most like boring it. cereal the world has ever created. Clearly, this is the closest thing to nuts that she's ever gonna get to touch. Oh. Wow. Damn, Doug. Nice. Cold. cold. What are you doing, Inspector 12? Comparing our new Haynes waistband with Fruit of the Loom trainee. Because this is who you trust with your underwear, right guys? A bunch of aging old lesbians who like to snap your band like it's a prostitute's bra strap. Now pull Fruit of the Loom's band. It's weaker. Of course. Seriously, I'm all for women in the work world, but there isn't one guy in there. It feels a little odd. Here, pull it. Men know our comfort weave waistband fits better. For one thing, it's stronger. Wow, is it? <laughs> I mean, how would you like it if nothing but men were looking at women's underwear all day? Hey, Dom, get over here and feel this bra. What? You gotta what? feel this bra. Come on, feel this bra, man. Right. Oh, Rob. Nice and nice. Oh, That's yeah. That's a pretty good yeah. bra. A good bra. Yeah, I like this bra. See, really yeah, that nice is bra. awkward. It's, it's super soft. weird. Smell. Very nice. Very soft. Very, very pink. Very These pink. bands yeah. are so strong, guys. Yeah, Women are gonna love like it. Like a petunia. You know, I think petunia. I'd say it's more like a buttercup. No, more like a D cup. Yeah. Man, I could touch this thing for hours. Hours. Shut up, Doug. Please don't tell <laughs> me you swiped that from your wife. Hours. 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 Well, hours. I guess if the Haynes Typical fits, Chicago. Haynes wins the battle of the bands. <laughs> That's why we put our name on it, kid. Haynes fits better than food in the loom. We need to get laid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Kool Aid coolers. Uh, 20% juice? 20% juice. Percent juice. No, I see. This is juice that's 20% juice. Well, what the hell's in the rest of it? Water. Hi, fructose that's like corn syrup. 20% juice. It also includes 50% corn syrup, 20% yellow number 5, uh -huh. and 10% God, we don't know what, but the FDA was asleep. Drink it while it's still unidentifiable. Yep. They're just so happy about it, too. Is it really worth celebrating that one-fifth of your product is actually what you say it is? It's a little disturbing. It's like advertising Pepsi, now with 20% soda and 80% rusty nails. Oh, oh my God. Now quite with 20% that. oats and 80% Donald Rumsfeld. Ah. <laughs> so, it Whoa, chicken McNuggets weird. can make a big deal about having actual <laughs> white meat chicken in there. You I know, guess Halliburton owned... Uh, with 20% juice, Kool-Aid coolers make it cooler. Our favorite Lego maniac. He's Zack the Lego maniac. Zack, Zack. He's a Lego Man. maniac. Jack, Jack. He's a Lego maniac. Or was it Jack? Zack, Zack. He's a Lego maniac. Wait a minute. Is it Jack or Zack? Here it's spelled Zack, but in this commercial, you definitely hear a J. His name is Jack. He's new in town. And lunchtime Two is different guys. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Zack. Zack. Same kid? No. Oh my god. It's like they just produced these children in the same factory that made child singers. He sent Ow. his cosmic fleet to Mars. He's out there cruising with the stars. His mind is lost in outer space. A Lego land basket case. So obviously uh. there was a ton of commercials based on this legendary Lego maniac, but it does make me wonder what this iconic toy god among children went on to do. I mean, where do you think he is right now? His grandma's house is where he stays. It's been 10 years since he's been laid. At 35, his world's a wreck, collecting unemployment checks. He's still obsessed with Lego C. It gets much talk in therapy. He checks his list off every day of bullies he will blow away. Zach, Zach, he's a psychomaniac. Zach, Zach, he's. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we'll still remember you in this timeless commercial. Oh, the most funny. likely unhealthy obsession you probably have. Legoland, King's Castle, Airport, Cosmic Fleet Voyager, sold separately really from Lego like Systems. No, don't Le do that. Legos are great. Legos, Legos are awesome. Awesome. The Does real Ghostbusters. Notice that the Ghostbuster toys were some of the most creative toys ever made. I mean, look at these. These were friggin' awesome. Yeah. Yep. Isn't he weird? <laughs> it's Tombstone Tackle. Tom, a friendly garbage man. P.U. <laughs> is Terry Trash. And as you'd imagine, they were advertised well, too. But I have to admit, there's one part that just rubs me the wrong way. Get him, boys. Ghosts! Funny guy, watch him scream! Uh. Am I the only one disturbed that that's possible anal rape? I mean, it's not oh. like we didn't see the ghosts in the movies do something like this. Hello! So I find it very unnerving. Hello, Dan Funny guy, watch him scream! Ah. Hey, my body would do that too if Boo Berry was doing me from all sides. <laughs> And now, He's because I don't know any better, the top 10 out-of-context Ghostbuster lines that go with this commercial. No, Doug. Well, there's something you don't see every day. No. I have seen shit that'll turn you white. There it is. You're not sleeping with it, are you, right? <laughs> You're scaring the straights. He slimed me. Oh. I think they're more interested in my epididymis. Oh. We get this guy laid, we won't have any trouble. <laughs> Why am I dripping with goo? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want us. Exposing ourselves. And the number one best out of context is. Ghostbuster line to be associated with this commercial is. That's a big Twinkie. There it is. <laughs> yes. Very good, Doug. Very is. good. I gotta give so him credit on that. That's that good. Scene is a little risque. The Ghostbuster toys were some of the best toys out there, and the commercials always show. Tell them about the Twinkie. Oh. <laughs> what about the Twinkie? This is what you do with your spare time. <laughs> like right, yes, I remember this. Yep, I think every kid at some point had a light bright. I, I don't never know did. What it is. Maybe it's I the jingle, didn't have maybe one, but I played with cool one in school. But everybody remembers this toy. Make a sign to say goodnight. And of course, every single kid in the entire world did the exact same thing. You made dirty pictures with it. Don't act like you didn't do this. No. Every little kid did. Boobies, no. penises, and anything else we thought was naughty made it onto the light bright screen. Uh, it was like the kids' version of crazy. Mine was mine was all dinosaurs. As far as the eye could see. I remember like making smiley faces and uh, and like spelling stuff out. My personal favorite is when they used it to spell out words, but it was always nice stuff like happy birthday or here's Susie. Couldn't they use it for more inventive scenarios? Oh, you have oh, it's not your baby. Even if we didn't always use it. Light Bright was, and always will be, a pretty cool toy. I'm yeah, now this is a pretty cool quite glad I never had one of those. Turn on the magic of shining lights. Light or, Bright you know, Bradley. a childhood. You I didn't have one of those. Golden! Golden Crisp, yes! Hey, it's the continuing adventures of Sugar Bear. Kids nowadays may not know this, but cereal commercials back then were actually sort of like, well, cereals. They were yep. soap operas with cliffhangers and lingering storylines. This Half is true. commercials always ended in To Be Continued. And it was sugar-coated awesomeness! But by far, one of the weakest ones has to be with Sugar Bear. Just take a look. Now we're turning the table on you. Call that sweet wheat on the double. Count you got triple trouble. Will Sugar Bear lose his Super Golden Crisp? Well, gee, what the fuck do you think's gonna happen? Golly, could it be like every other commercial where he just eats the goddamn cereal and saves the day? Is that even a possibility? You and solve the mystery with action-packed Sugar Bear flip books. Look at that. They just showed you what happened. They don't give a shit. They know that we know. <laughs> so might as well just come out and display it. I mean, is it even worth going through the flip book to see what happens? I mean, we all know what the outcome's gonna be. Go to the last page. We all know what it's gonna... Uh, Jesus. That's super dark. Sugar Bear. I don't care. I still love Sugar Bear, and I look forward to him kicking some more ass with his laid-back attitude. But j Jesus. No. <laughs> Ah, Pop Tarts commercials were always yep. the staple of the 80s and 90s, with its retro fashion and retro music. Uh. And of course, that confusing as hell tagline. So hot, they're cool, so cool, they're hot. What does that mean? How no can one something knows. be so no hot it's know. cold, or so cold it's hot? It's like saying they're so, so great, cool they suck, hot. they suck, so it's great. I never got it. 
It's like one of those Zen riddles you're never supposed to really figure out. It's like two wrongs every. What is so hot? It's cool, but it's so cool. It's hot. Uh. Pop tarts. It's not pop tarts. Dry <laughs> ice. You can get ready for something wild when you bite into new Kellogg's pop tarts. Explosive radiation. God, those things are fucking around. That nearly took your head off. Look at that. I think bits of her brain just flew out there. Uh. Lindsay, why are you late for class? Pop tarts. Oh god. Oh, god. god. Better than ever. Let's turn into shit go In producing Leatherhead! Alright, now we're talking Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. There you go. It's always a favorite. Leatherhead! These are your targets! The friends of the Ninja Turtles! You sucky your Jimbo! Wait a minute, what was his name? You sucky your Jimbo! You sucky your Jimbo? That sounds a little perverted. Leatherhead! Actually, even Leatherhead sounds a little dirty. It sounds like the name of a gim from an S and M dungeon. Oh! Now you can get a pop-up display stand inside specially marked packages of turtle figures. Great for displaying turtles when they're not eating pizza. We just thought we remind you that the turtles ate pizza. Yep. Mm -hmm. As much as I love the turtle toys and the commercials, there was always one thing that drove me nuts. They never got the same voice for Shredder. The voice for Shredder in the commercials was never the same voice as from the show. I mean, they didn't even try. I'll take care of them once and for all. Destroy them! That sounds nothing like the original Shredder. Hey, while they're at it, why don't they go with this voice? They betrayed me. They didn't keep their promise. They oh, me gosh, and I don't Tommy care was so Whoa, no. You better watch the old blood pressure, Shredhead. you just a little chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Oh, hi, Mark. How is your sex life? Thank you, Tommy Russo. Dance club fans, do the Barbie! Yes, notice no. how the Barbie in no way involves bending your arms or legs. All over the town, we're into dance club Barbie. Oh god, even that was too complicated for the doll to do. Look, for the dancing toy, could you allow just a little bit more movement outside of the I'm trying to step on a bug while I have a headache move? Got the answer, it's uh. just Barbie. Oh, a spider! <laughs> God, I need aspirin. <laughs> Where is a Barbie? Now the Barbie Dance Club t-shirt and video with a special appearance by Paula Abdul. Oh, now that would be interesting. Oh, you know, you, you try. I know you're trying so hard, but... Honey, I just don't think you're Barbie material. Paula, get a reality check. She oh, was no, gold awful. Quiet. She shouldn't you be, be there. You're she should commit suicide. That. She you're was that awful. Me. She is just you're a god awful person. You're I think she should kill cry. herself. You want to make out? Later, I'm doing Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What hot, hot wheels. Yes. What's cool? Yep. Pop tarts? No! Pop -tarts. <laughs> Light speeders. Oh my god, I hated these things. Anyone who had these, you got gypped. Okay, so these cars don't run unless you put these spotlights on them. And there's your problem! Why would you want to do that? What are these solar-powered cars? Who thought this up? So that means every time you put the light on it, it moves a centimeter. And you have to have that stupid light on it the whole entire time or it doesn't move. And trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks. You get to move a centimeter, then another centimeter, and then you throw the goddamn thing away. Yeah. Curves. Somebody's oh, got those uh, bridges where it always got stuck. Yes, why? Because the fucking light wouldn't shine somebody's through. Somebody's a little salty here. So you always here. had to push it with your fucking toe or something. God, I hated this toy. Take off with the speed of light. Well, I guess he got it. Bullshit. 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 He's so hot. Bullshit. So Bullshit. Cool. Bullshit. Then you're ripping off pop tarts. Who does that? Batteries not included. Not for use with some cars. You put it together. New from Mattel. Bullshit. Right, Transformers! Now the greats are back as classic pretenders! Wait, what? Now Wait, the they're people now? What, what, now they're robots? Pretenders. They're dinosaurs too? What, the, hey, what, now they're cars? What? Wait, how is this classic? I don't remember this. Wait, why are they people? I don't get that. Who are they? I... What? Well, he just had an existential Well, that cleared everything up. Buy that! Show and tell time. I'm not a teddy bear. My teddy's name is Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> oh, God. Can you and I be friends? I haven't forgotten you, critic. <laughs> oh, God. Why are alphabets fun to eat? Okay. Because you can eat that. Critic. <laughs> Here's a fun game to play at home. Count all the phallic symbols. Squeezes on. Squeeze it, 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 squee
I actually nope. had some of those when I was a kid. New Another trend. Transformers are here. Oh, these things again. Okay, let's see if they explain it any better. The power, the power of Pretender Transformers. And look, there are evil Decepticon pretenders too. Pretender Transformers. No! Nope. 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 Didn't explain a thing. Finally, we have found a cure for diabetes. What? I can't wait for the day I make that announcement. Uh, for over 16 years... No, I'm sorry. You lost me. You totally lost me at that fake out. I don't care what you're promoting. In fact, you know what? I'm going to give five people diabetes right now. Yeah, it's the critic. Inject them. <laughs> oh, just a little side project I got going. <laughs> oh, God, I might be horrible. <laughs> Introducing Slim Suit. Just put oh. To take oh, no. Off. Okay, folks, get ready for the dumbest thing you have ever seen. You're... Who'd ever think I could lose weight while watching TV? Can you believe we're losing weight just by talking on the phone? No, you're not. No, no, I can't. In fact, I'm going to call lying on that. Just put it on to take I call... Off. It's that easy. A bullshit! No kidding! The slim suit can help you lose weight by doing absolutely nothing. I oh caught a booty like an ounce of weight no, a week know. or something. Six hours ago, I was absolutely panicked Back because this dress shit. is too tight. So We're gonna go full to iron sheet here. And now uh, I'll, I'll, do I'll do it. I'll do it after. I'll do it after. Really? Hold on. Six I'm gonna pause. Six hours of wearing the slim suit can make you go down an entire dress size. That's incredible. I bet all you other idiots out there were trying to exercise or eat right. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> And with amazing slim suit, one it makes size you just sweat. Yeah. That's it. Especially you for shed water weight. weight like this guy. That's most. oh. One size will fit most. Yes, everyone can look great in <laughs> one slim size suit. All. Okay, now that's definitely a lie. <laughs> look at this girl. You know she's got a date to the prom. It's simple. The more active you are, the more slim oh. suit works for oh. you. Oh, guarantee no you, their their the shoes have got to be filled the more with the brim. Oh yeah. Lose weight. Why are they it's sitting around having tea? Way. It's almost as if you. Oh. Don't need it at all. Next thing you know, it's you're gonna hear him walk running down the street going, "Don't have to hassle with." Oh, Just put oh. it on to take it off. No, take I, it easy or take I it I believe to the, the noise max. you're looking for is. Professionals also recommend these magic beans mixed with a placebo brought to you by the Tooth Fairy. When you're in Oz. <laughs> they wear or every night. You can actually wake up weighing less. No harmful what? pills or Ugh. starvation. Ew. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is sacrifice your fucking common sense. Because of the incredible demand for slim suits, supplies are limited. Yeah, we only made five of these because we thought only five people would be dumb enough to buy them. Wow. You proved us wrong, America. So order now to put slim suit on to take weight off. You know, Your slim suit comes wearing the slim suit the is still more effective no than voting. Charge. Wait, wait, wait. Free yeah. market program. still wins. You said all we had to do was sit on our asses. What, is there a time scale to sitting on our asses? Slim suit works. I lose weight every time I wear it. Thanks to slim suit, I actually lost weight while sleeping. It truly is the work of an artist. Perhaps a con artist, if you will. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, I don't think I'm going to top this bit of insanity, so might as well just call it quits. Fucking bullshit! Thank you, Iron I'm Sheik. I'm a I remember it. Thanks for joining Zach. Zach. He's a psychomaniac. Zach, Zach, this house was pulled he's up. a psycho. Yeah, I was waiting for the payoff. Zach that. again. Bitch. Obnoxious, I bitched critic. Okay. Wow. That was something. That was a thing that happened. That was. It happened to all of us. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. We'll never be able to. Okay. That okay. Mm. That's a big twinkie. I uh. I I. Wow. I, I'm 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 sorry, guys. So I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and throw something out here. Go ahead. I have seen very few of those commercials. I have also, you know. I mean, I've, I never had 
most any of that stuff. So mm-hmm. I've seen I've seen a few of those commercials long time ago. I mean, just like this episode, the last two episodes. It's like, hmm. On this one, I recognize some of the products, but not the actual commercials. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Hmm. That. <laughs> My childhood I, was weird. Huh? My childhood was weird. Anyway, I think we all had uh, the kids weird are weird. childhood. I that saw I saw like fifty billion true. of them today, and they're they're the worst. They're like humans, but tiny. Like, it's just terrible. And not conscious enough to realize their actions. Well, I mean that's that's normal humans too, but these are just smaller versions of those humans. So it's just it's awful. Uh-huh. <sighs> Man, we're were you dressed up as Turbo Man? Me? No. Okay. Wait. Were you Booster? Nobody likes Booster. Okay. Just just making sure. Oh boy. Just making sure that Micah wasn't in fact living out Jingle all the way. Which is the best movie of all time. You <laughs> shut your mouth, critic. Die Hard. <laughs> Die Hard is the best okay. Christmas movie It's ever. the best Christmas movie. Hey, Jingle All the Way was set during... Actually, no, it was his son's birthday. No, it was... Uh, oh, yeah, it, it was, was Christmas. Christmas. It was Christmas. Why but else would they have titled it Jingle, Jingle All, all the, the Way? Fucking way. I don't know. I Honestly, I forget <laughs> I forget things. My brain no work sometimes. Yeah. I'm not having the best night for that either. Yeah. It's like my brain is just like, I'm going to mess with you and have fun doing I, it. I don't approve of animal cruelty, but... The best movies are the ones where Arnold initiates violence against some kind of like large herd animal. Well, it's just the, like the camel, the Conan the Barbarian movies, the camel, um, and then the reindeer and Jingle, Jingle all, all the way. way. It's hilarious. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I remember when the reindeer broke in after uh, broke into the house after he like had the fight with the with his family and, and he's everything. Like, and not, not he's like this. he's like he's like bad timing, and he socks him one. He's like. Well, you started it. <laughs> Ar- Arnold Pugil- then gives him a beer. Yeah, uh, Arnold, a few beers. Arnold pugilizing ungulates is the best thing ever. <laughs> Arnold pugilizing ungulates. Ungulates. <laughs> that's another. That's a. That's a cracker of a line right there. Yep. No, 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 no. I think we've got a film series here. <laughs> yeah. I could, it could be Arnold. Uh, I could see just Arnold out, like out in the Amazon, like just swatting animals. It's like tapirs. <laughs> That did it. That did it. That got me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. This was Revenge of the Commercials by the Nostalgia Critic. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to see the original video, link is in the description down below. Check out the Nostalgia Critic. Doug Walker is awesome. We are the Renegades signing off. I'm Nate. That's Ben. And that's Micah. You like suplex a capybara. Like It's a taper. <laughs> Good night. 